Mr. Truck here with Clyde Steck, and he has an air inflation system for trailers. This is, you say, the first one on a gooseneck? First one on a gooseneck. Very first one that ever hit the road, comes from load trail. This is a dexed air. Uh, basically, we have a, we replaced a hubcap. This is an aluminum hubcap. It has a side glass window. It has a rotator, so you can rotate it to line up the hoses to match the valve stems. You can also add oil in this eighth inch filler plug. Well, it's cool. You know, I've seen these on H1 Hummers, you know, and you see semis with them, and and it, it's always sometimes hard to understand how they work. But the, the air goes through the center of the of the, uh, of the spindle on the axle. That's correct. The, the center of the axle is hollow. The air comes through a tube, then goes through a rotating mechanism, then comes out to the, the rotator here and goes to each hose, to each wheel. And this is even spe more more special because it's a dually, you know, and and, and you also have them for single single wheels. And the dually, you know, that's always the problem is getting your hand in there, getting a gauge in there to even see the inside dually. And if a dually goes flat on you, a lot of times it'll loosen your lug nuts. So this is an important safety factor, an important, you know, maintenance factor, and it makes your tires last longer. To, they don't overheat on you. All those things that you want air for, yours does automatically. That's correct. This is an automatic system. It has a compressor that adds air. We have a regulator, so it's regulated air coming to the tires. So basically, if a tire goes low, you... You get a nail in the tire, you're going down the road, we supply air. If we can't supply enough air, a light comes on and warns the driver that the, we don't have enough air to supply because the hole is too big. So it also keeps the tire pressure even from one tire to the next. Uh, and also you get better tire wear, you get better fuel mileage, uh, and of course tires are expensive now, so you save money. Well, definitely, yeah. And a lot of these on these tires, you know, they're 12-ply, 10-ply, 14-ply, all those heavy tires, and they're very expensive. And, you know, a lot, of these, a lot of folks pull these traders in Arizona and all those places where it's super hot. So air is so important to the life of the tire. Now, this one is you know, on Low Trail Trader. It's on their, their cool green one, which is uh, safety green. Right. <laughs> I remember that. And in the front, there's an air compressor, and the air compressor also has a light on. So if the air goes down or the compressor is running, it comes on, I guess. That's and two, that way you can disconnect it and use that air compressor to air up your tires, air up your beach ball, or air up whatever it is. But that's pretty cool. Yes, that's a feature that Low Trail wanted. In fact, they even thought about maybe a guy could use an impact if he had to out in the field. So we just have a, a air supply because it also has an air tank as a reservoir. Oh, yeah. So we keep the reservoir full. So it's, it has several different features that way. Oh, this is great. I need this on my trader. So can you come out to Colorado? and put, yeah. <laughs> Clyde, we're here looking at this, the inside guts of all this, of this Dexter axle. We know the air comes through the middle of the axle and goes to the middle of the spindle. But it has a lot of components in there to make this work and be very reliable. Can you run us through it? Yes, the red tubing you see comes from the compressor, goes through a push to connect. From the push to connect, it goes through a cylinder plug, we call it. There's a cutaway, it kind of shows you our components inside the cylinder. This is a seal, a double lip seal. This is a bushing. The bushing keeps the, the shaft, the shiny shaft down there in the center of the seal so it doesn't leak and you get a long life out of it. So from there, from this cylinder plug, we go out to the, the air goes out to the rotator, from the rotator out to the tires. Wow, that's cool. And that, uh, so that outside shaft, to turn all those revolutions, you say you've had trucks with 2 million miles on these? And a similar system on a semi? Or what were you saying about the longevity of that shaft? Yes, in Florida we have some uh, garbage trucks there. They've been on the road since 1994. And one gentleman said he had 2.4 million miles on them. Uh, we don't have the systems back from him, and we can't qualify that, but that's what he told us on the phone. And that's a hardened shaft, hardened steel? Yes, that's a 50 Rockwell shaft. Wow, that's pretty cool. Does this breathe if you build up pressure from an oil leak or an air leak? I guess it would be an air leak. Yeah, basically there's a slit right here. So this slit in this cylinder, then the air is able to go back towards the center of the axle and come out a special breather we designed. Uh, the breather, actually, I need to get close up. The breather now it goes through the axle. And then, back 
fitting design that would hold up. They've been on the market for years now, but we spent a lot of time with push connect companies. Yeah, some of them I like them. I mean, the convenience, you can't beat the convenience. Well, let me tell you about these real quick. Now, I'm, I'm not giving them a clue. You know, hey, we do, we just buy from the distributor. Right. Basically, this push to connect in here, it has a bushing in the center, uh -huh. and it also has a lip seal. So basically, as it gets cold in the winter, the lip seal still will grab the tubing. Most of them have an O-ring. And with an O-ring, when it gets cold, it doesn't work, you know. It's it, it uh, you, you have leakage, so that is really a good push to connect right so there. So it's got like a bushing in the middle of the tube. Bush in the middle of the, the ring. And the and then it has a, a a lip seal in it. It has a seal inside instead of an O-ring inside the push connect. So it's on the connect on the hose. So right, in down in that T yeah, right here. Right, it, right. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great design. These things are pretty expensive. Too. They are. Yeah. The RV uses, using water, they use them on everything. Well, this I think is the future because you know everything's getting so expensive, and you got to have all the stuff in place to to keep going. And a lot of people who are making a living with flatbeds and people making a living with horses, this is such an important issue because that's you know besides electrical plugs, the tires is probably the number two issue on anything that goes wrong with the trailer. That's correct. And there's a mandate coming in the class eight, so there's no mandate on these trailers yet, but. A lot of people these days, especially hot shotters, if they're going up and down the road and they have to get the load there, if they have a flat between San Antonio and El Paso, uh, what do they do? They're on the side of the road. So this way they can, they can manage to get to, to the next gas station or the next place to service the tire. Well, yeah, and that becomes important about your income, your livelihood. And, you know, it's like having a trader stolen. It can really cut into your time. But, no, I, I like this. This is great. We're going to show more on this and uh, hopefully get one on my trailer. Well, thanks, Clyde. Thank you very much.